What's going on guys, Stix here with the Token Minorities, bringing you another deck on Pokemon TCGO, and today I am bringing you a deck centered around Mega Lucario EX, the full art version that was released with the Mega Powers Collection, and before I get into the deck, just a reminder that if you guys liked this video or found it helpful, please leave a like, drop a comment, and le click that subscribe button, helps us out a ton, and lets us do more cool stuff for you guys, and as for the question of the day, with the release of the Mega Powers Collection, first of all, we got these really, really sick full arts. One for Mega Lucaria, one for Zygarde, one for Mega Manectric, and one for Jolteon. And this week, I'm going to be doing decks centered around uh, all of those full arts. So that's going to be the theme for the first two days of this week anyway. But also, one thing we got was the Lucario Spirit Link, which is admittedly kind of funny because there's a Lucario Spirit Link in Standard, but neither of the Lucarios are in Standard because of the way they did these promos. They have an A next to it, so technically this Mega Lucario is still with the Furious Fist set, but the A signifies that it is alternate artwork, and if you look at each of the cards released in Mega Powers, you'll see that as well. But either way, with the Lucario Spirit Link, that means that there are now only two Mega Pokemon that no longer have any, uh, that no longer have a Spirit Link. That being Mega Kangaskhan and Mega Heracross. The only sets that had, that didn't have Spirit Links, were from, uh, XY, Flashfire, and, uh, Furious Fist. Of course, that's what Lucario was from. Well, the Pokemon from XY all got Spirit Links in, uh, Evolutions. In Flashfire, uh, well, I guess that goes with Charizard as well, because there's Blastoise and Venusaur in XY, there was Charizard and Mega Kangaskhan in Flashfire, and there was Mega, Heracl Mega Heracross and Lucario in Furious Fists. Every set after that had Spirit Links, so Mega Heracross and Mega Kangaskhan are the only ones left without a Spirit Link. Question of the day, which one would you like to see get a Spirit Link? Honestly, I would have to say I want Mega Kangaskhan to get a Spirit Link. That deck was actually... Um, a competitive deck way back when I think it was a fairy box with Mega Kangaskhan deck to where you just gave up a turn to be able to Mega Evolve and you were still able to uh, you were still able to compete just because Wham Bam Punch had such potential for big big damage and Mega Kangaskhan was so difficult to take down I think that, that would be really cool and Kangaskhan in itself has a Lapras-like ability to, well, collect, draw three cards. I mean, it has that attack, which has been proven to be a very, very strong attack in this meta. I really would like to see Mega Kangaskhan get a Spirit Link. I think that'd be a very cool deck to uh, try out. But anyway, let me know which you would like to see get a Spirit Link and why in the comments section down below. Very curious to see what you guys have to say. But anyway, on to the deck, like I said, centered around Mega Lucario EX, and this is really just kind of a blast from the past deck that I tried to incorporate some uh, Guardians Rising cards in, basically just take everything from the uh, current, well, everything that's current in the expanded format, and go from there, try to make this deck as good as possible. And you might notice that there isn't any carving break in this deck. That was a very conscious choice by me. I spent about i spent too many hours testing out this deck testing out different versions to see which one could be best suited to make lucario be successful in the expanded tier and i found that if you just try to go speed with mega turbo that that works out to, that works out as best as it can like i mean that works out that works out uh, as well as you could hope it to, is what I'm trying to say. So that's really what I ended up going with. But I encourage you guys to try out Carving Break for yourself. This is just my opinion. As for the Pokemon, 3-3 three, three of Lucario and Mega Lucario. Mega Lucario with uh, the Rising Fist attack for 3 Fighting Energy. Does 140 and you discard an energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. Now, talking to Aura, he said that, uh, he said that Rising Fist is more conducive to a longer game. I actually kind of disagree. First of all, you have Mega Turbo, so you can potentially attack turn two once you get Lucario Mega Evolved. But the discard and energy, while you might look at that as like kind of disruption, more late later game, like extending the game type of thing, I think that this works perfectly with Mega Lucario, with speed Mega Lucario, because it sets your opponent back just a turn or two. I mean, it's not that powerful of a dis of a discard option because it doesn't like 
make Mega Lucario immune like Stardust Jirachi does. It doesn't discard from anywhere on the board. It just discards from the active. So it really buys you one turn, maybe two, at the absolute most, which is all you need for Speed Mega Lucario to do what it does and to get the damage on the board for the knockout. So I think that Speed Mega Lucario is the way to go, but again, I encourage you guys to try out Carbink for yourself. Uh, but we are running 3-3 of Lucario and Mega Lucario just because main attacker, all that stuff. And what's unfortunate, Mega Lucario is weak to Psychic. That is a little bit too uh, common of a typing in the expanded format in particular. So what I decided to go with was also a Zygarde as well as a backup attacker. Because Zygarde, much like Lucario, is able to attack for 1, 2, and 3 energy. And all these have pretty solid attacks for 1, 2, and 3 energy. But Zygarde's a type of Pokemon that I like to put in the active and then just Lands Pulse or Cell Storm. Just buy myself time, build up a Mega Lucario in the background after like my initial one gets knocked out or whatnot. I like to have Zygarde as just kind of, okay, play it down, just start lands pulsing and cell storming for some good damage, buying myself time to set up my Lucario in the background and go from there. So this combination actually is what I really, really like, and also Zygarde isn't weak to Psychic. So you actually have a fighting chance against decks like Night March, Garbodor, to name a few. Now, don't get me wrong, I still think Night March destroys this deck. But with Zygarde, at least Pumpkaboo doesn't just need, like, it doesn't just need six Night Marchers in the discard pile to one-shot you, which it does with Mega Lucario. So a little bit of weakness distribution with Zygarde as well as Lucario. And also another reason I'm not running Carbink is just in the current metagame, decks have way too many ways of playing around that. EX heavy decks run Hex Maniac. Well, uh, Mega Rayquaza in particular runs heavy counts of Hex Maniac. Uh, Volcanion, they have Baby Volcanion to work around uh, Carbink Break. And then everything else is basically GXs. I guess Turbo Dark's another, but I mean, you guys, this deck destroys Turbo Dark anyway. But really, there's just too many ways around Carbink Break. And also, I think it just clogs it up a little bit more, so I decided just to go as consistently and as quickly as possible with my deck build of Mega Lucario. And uh, after testing this line, I really do like it. So yeah, 3-3 three, three of Lucario, Mega Lucario, 2 Zygarde to buy us time, and also take some prizes, give a little type disparity for the weakness. And then 2-2 two, two of Shaman and Lele. I know I've been going with 1-2 recently, but I like having that second Shaman in this deck because we're already not like pressed for space with the Pokemon that we're running because we're only running 12 Pokemon in general. So running an extra Shaman is just nice for being like, well, I already played a Shaman, but I want to draw a couple more cards. And especially in a deck where the supporter you're gonna be using is a non-draw supporter uh, with Karina, Shaman is great for being able to draw those extra cards. So yeah, that is the Pokemon, just very straightforward. As for the items, one computer search, cause I mean, hey, we're in Expanded, let's take full advantage of that. Run computer search, be able to grab whatever card you need and throw some stuff in the discard pile super ridiculously good synergy with Karina just be able to be like okay Karina you know what? I'm gonna grab a Lucario and a computer search I like that which I mean that's amazing one field blower to not only get rid of our opponent's stadium and tools but also to have a little bit of kind of cool synergy with Mega Lucario once you get that thing mega evolved you can field blower away your own spirit link and then attach a muscle band I'll get to why I'm using muscle band later but just really kind of cool uh combination right there four mega turbo absolute max number so that we can get a lucario powered up as quickly or a mega lucario powered up as quickly and consistently as possible for ultra ball let us reuse all or let us find whatever we want when we want it for vs seeker to reuse all of our supporters i combine these two i say the same thing for these guys every single time so i've started to blur them together a little bit and as for the supporters, we have 3-3-2 line of Sycamore N and Lysander. Just standard. I really, really like that in this meta. Uh, three, Karina. Probably could... I, I don't know. I'm... After testing this line as much as I have, I like the way it is. Just with the... Uh, just having the ability to be like, okay, well, Karina, I will have it when I want it. Otherwise, I have draw supporters when I want it. But then again, this is a little bit heavy line of supporters. However, 
I mean, if you're going to run heavy anything, it might as well be supporters so that you have something going. Uh, one Olympia to kind of help out with a little bit of the healing, as well as the high retreat costs of our Pokemon if our opponent tries to Lysander and stuff like that. And Olympia works really, really well with a combination with Cell Storm because all of a sudden you're healing 60 damage off Zygarde in one turn, which is very, very strong. One Hex Maniac to shut down our opponent's abilities, kind of shut off Night March's turn one sometimes. Uh, she will shut down Safeguard, which would normally give us problems. I mean, yeah, we have a way around that with Tapu Lele, but just Hex Maniac is such a strong card, particularly in the expanded meta that we need. That I felt the need to run that. Also to shut down item locks with, uh, well, shut down Vileplume item lock, Trevenant item lock, so that I can get a Lucario powered up because this deck really doesn't rely on abilities apart from Lele and Shaman. So Hex Maniac, very strong, very necessary. As for the stadiums, one fighting stadium, I'm only running one because unfortunately it specifies EX. It does 20 more damage, but only to EXs. EXs are not nearly as popular anymore. So while that 20 damage is really, really nice in a lot of situations, it's not as common to see only EXs as it used to be. In fact, the majority are GXs that I run into. So only one fighting standing because yes, extra 20 damage is nice, but it's not always, but it's not like always there. Like you can't always use it for that. I am pairing it with Scorched Earth for a little bit more draw support, but also to get regular fighting energy in the discard pile for Mega Turbo. So we have a little bit of a triangle right here of things that we can work with. Oh, and one thing, other thing that Karina does is it gets you Spirit Link plus Mega Lucario in one turn. So it's like the rare candy into Garchomp that we used to have with the Breakpoint Garchomp decks. But in this case, we just have Spirit Link and Mega Lucario with one supporter. So something I forgot to mention that is still really cool. As for the items, three Spirit Link for three Mega Lucario, three Float Stones because, I mean, Let's, let's face it, Zygarde's kind of fat, Lele and Shaman you don't want to attach manually to, and yes, Floatstone is a little bit, I mean, I'm running a little bit higher count of Floatstone, but it's kind of a, I just want to make sure that I have that extra, that I have that free retreat when I want it, and I want to make sure that I have it when opponent, like, may uh, Lysander up a Shaman or a Lele, just something like that. So running a higher count lets me get the Pokemon that I want in the active pretty consistently, and the final tool that I'm running is Muscle Band. Now you might be thinking, Sticks, why the heck are you using Muscle Band and not Choice Band? Choice Band gives you an extra 10 damage. And well, you're right, but in this deck, two of the three attackers have one and two energy attacks that hit for small damage, but I mean, still pretty significant and it builds up easily with fighting, with fighting type Pokemon with like strong energy and stuff like that. So I decided to put Muscle Band in there because with a like a strong energy and a muscle band with a stadium in play admittedly lands pulse goes from a one energy for 20 to a one energy for 80 i mean that's that in itself gets you knockouts on a lot of uh small basics i mean just that extra 20 damage guaranteed on everything is worth the trade-off of 10 10 more damage against exs and gxs just because in this deck, I attack with the 1 and 2 energy attacks of Zygarde, and that's not enough to knock out some of the basics. Muscle Band is that difference some of the time, so that's why I decided to use that. For strong energy, uh, just, I mean, we want to power up these guys as much as possible, get that extra 20 damage, just stack that with more strong energy, and then 6 regular fighting to discard for Mega Turbo, but also attach to Lele and Shaman if we need to. So, yep, I've talked for way too long, let's go ahead and see this deck in action. Alrighty, we have found one against uh, Mr. Venom with, uh, boy, this looks like a Night March deck, which could be very, very, very bad, um, meaning that Lucario probably won't be able to do too much this match, but, I mean, I, I don't know, Zygarde might be able to put in some decent work. Uh, see, I wanted to go second, but, like, in the off chance that it's not a... In the off chance that it's not a Night March deck, I still want to go first. That way I have that advantage. So, I mean, I just kind of had to play it at this point, see what happens. Um, yeah, it is Night March, so really wish that I had played it out a little bit more. 
Um, let's go ahead and uh, Spirit Link up my Lucario. I don't know, do I want to Spirit Link or do I want to save it? Actually, you know what, let's just go ahead and Hex Maniac, honestly, and then play the Spirit Link, because why the heck not? I have to hope that my opponent doesn't have any way of retreating his Joltik into a Pumpkaboo. Yeah, I could just lose this turn, this coming turn, but on the very off chance that my opponent doesn't get a lot of stuff, I have to just... So, okay, the matchup is so not in my favor right now. I really just have to play off the fact that my opponent isn't going to get anything turn one so that I should be able to get something going. Uh, okay, my opponent plays uh, Fighting Fury Belt. I mean, that's actually kind of a big deal, meaning that I will have to attach to Lucario if I want to knock out this Joltik this coming turn. Uh, otherwise, Energy Lottos, Battle Compressors. Okay, so this is this is starting to get scary. On the bright side, I will make it to the next turn. I mean, unless my opponent gets nine Night Marchers in the discard pile. Actually, no. Yeah, if my opponent gets nine Night Marchers in the discard pile, then I can lose. But, I mean, I know we didn't see any Shaman, but I am honestly just having to bank off the fact that my opponent won't be able to get a ton of Night Marchers. And okay, we see him getting rid of another DCE. That is something that we can work with. Uh, we see the laser. Oh, boy. Don't get heads. Don't get heads. Don't get heads. Oh, thank the Lord. Uh, because... If he'd gotten heads, then I'd have to evolve into Mega Lucario and go from there. On the bright side, my opponent has not played another Pokemon down. That is fantastic. Um, puzzle of Time. Oh, if he gets double puzzle, then he can grab a Pumpkaboo. And if he grabs a Pumpkaboo, then I'm going to be in a bad spot. But on the bright side, we've seen him have to get rid of a couple cards or a couple puzzles already. So maybe he won't have the DCEs to be able to uh, go through the game. And he actually just Night Marches, so we win. Wow. Oh my gosh, that was clutch. Whew. Oh, I just have to attach the fighting energy and I'll win with the corkscrew smash. So luckily my opponent wasn't able to get anything else going. I'm very glad that I played that Hex Maniac. And uh, I mean, yeah, that wasn't much of a first match. But I mean, hey, we won with Lucario against Night March. I'm going to consider that a win. But uh, that, was, that was probably the most nervous I've been on a turn one in a very 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 long time because i didn't have a backup basic i had to hex maniac to keep my opponent from exploding and luckily it did come through to me i was able to knock out my opponent's only joltik and we won the game so yeah that was a well that was a first match anyway let's go ahead and try to find a, another substantial one with this deck Alrighty, we have found another one against a zelo 17 tcg with a pure psychic deck so uh wow this is gonna be this is gonna be craptacular <laughs> oh boy so this is gonna be interesting i mean man all these psychic types i mean see that's why mega lucario is not the greatest because psychic types are just a little bit too popular i mean that's probably one of the stronger and more common types in the tcg uh even just i mean even just in itself so we're gonna be in an uphill battle in this match um, I start off with actually some pretty decent stuff. Once again, I start off with a Lucario, Spirit Link, and a Mega Lucario. If I can get a Karina instead of a Sycamore, I should be able to play that turn one to be able to get some uh, energy, or to be able to get another Pokemon on the board and keep the energy, but unfortunately, I don't get it. So, and we see the Mew, so I, I mean... I'm not going to risk what happened last match. Last match, I was able to risk it just because I didn't have a... Uh, I was able to risk it because I didn't have... My opponent didn't have a Psychic type out. But because my opponent has a Psychic type, I'm just going to have to do this. And... Yeah. I mean, I want to play the Shaman, but I want a Shaman for more cards. So, I mean, if my opponent gets a ton of stuff and is able to one shot me then i will tip, i will just tip my hat to them like if that's what they get then i'll tip my hat i will take the l and we'll go from there otherwise i have to hold on to what i have in my hand in order to have a decent shot at doing something substantial this turn my opponent does seem to be playing a mega alakazam deck so this should be I should actually be in an okay position. Yeah, my opponent will be able to suppression for some decent damage with the Mew, but it's not anywhere near a one-shot that I was afraid of. And 
All right, I'm in a I'm in a better position than I thought I was. I will be able to get a Mega Lucario actually up and attacking next turn, because all I have to do is Karina for a Mega Lucario and a Mega Turbo, and my Lucario and my Mega Lucario will be fully powered up, able to attack the Mew, and just start putting in work and doing damage. My opponent does grab a Mega Alakazam, or a, he hoopas for an alakazam and a mega alakazam as well as i think i saw a shaman i mean if not then he probably already has yeah there was the shaman so he is able to shaman for a couple more cards as long as he doesn't get the spirit link we are going to be in a pretty good position actually well there it is um so i might want to even computer search for the field blower i mean regardless i'm gonna 100 karina for a mega lucario and a mega turbo so i can get a knockout if I can stay ahead of my opponent in the knockout game, I actually might have a chance to win this. So suppression only does 30, luckily, because that's an effect and not straight damage. Um, let's go ahead and Karina for the Mega Lucario and the Mega Turbo, like I said. Guarantee myself two prizes for this turn at the very least. Uh, go ahead and Mega Evolve without having to end the turn now. Play the Strong Energy, play the... Um, play the Mega Turbo, and this is where having a Carbink could come in handy. But at the same time, I mean, I prefer just straight up what I have. Um, let's go ahead and computer search, actually get rid of the Via Seeker and the Lucario to grab, probably just grab that Field Blower. So I can at the very least get rid of the, not only the Dimension Valley, but the Spirit Link as well. Maybe slow my opponent down a little bit more. And then I'll be sh able to, then I'll be able to shame in for a fresh six cards. And yeah. Uh, there's a Lele. Okay, so oh good. I get another Pokemon. I get a Zygarde. Let's play the Muscle Band onto the Zygarde because why the heck not? And then let's go ahead and Rising Fist to be able to knock out this Mew and yeah, take a couple prizes on. I mean, one thing I could have also done with that Field Blower is gotten rid of my gotten rid of my Spirit Link. That way I could one shot a Mega Alakazam. But at the same time, I mean, I think I think it was still the right play getting rid of the Spirit Link and the Dimension Valley. So, I mean, I stand by my play. Kind of wish that I could have gotten rid of my Spirit Link in the process. But my Spirit Link was lower on the priority than my opponent's Spirit Link and the uh, Dimension Valley. So, he will be able to Kinesis start, start hitting the Zygarde. So, I mean, I might have held on to the Zygarde, but I, I don't know. I still think playing it down was the right play. And my opponent just, okay. Wow, this is actually great for me. So what I will be able to do is get the Zygarde. Um, let's see. Mega Alakazam, yeah, I won't be able to get knock that thing out because... I mean, I could Lele for a Lysander, but I think the play right now is just get a Lucario and a Spirit Link. And even though I discarded my other Lucario, I mean, I have, I have the Mega Turbos in my hand to be able to power up a Mega Lucario next turn if I need to. And let's just Floatstone the Shaman because why the heck not? Rising Fist, knock out this uh, Alakazam, and at the very... Actually, no, I couldn't Karina into a... Uh, actually, huh. If I get an energy, I can win next turn. I can Ultra Ball for a... If I top deck an energy, I can Ultra Ball for a Mega Lucario, double, double Mega Turbo on Nevermind. Well, there goes that play. Uh, <laughs> What I was going to say is I could Ultra Ball into a Mega Lucario, double Mega Turbo onto it if this Mega Lucario gets knocked out, and then simply Karina for a... And then simply Lele for a Lysander, not Karina. All right, my opponent wasn't able to do much of anything, still wasn't able to get an energy. So, well, it wasn't... Got an energy, but didn't get the Dimension Valley. So that Field Blower actually came through incredibly clutch that my opponent was not able to take the knockout on my Mega Lucario right there. Even a heavily damaged one at that. And yeah, I guess Mega Lucario was just a little bit too fast for Alakazam. So even though we had the type disadvantage, my opponent, un unfortunately for them, just did not draw the right stuff when they needed it to be able to get the knockout. But hey, we take those. Mega Lucario once again overcame type advantage to be able to win the game. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and try to find another good one with this deck. Alrighty, we have found another one against uh, Matty Matt Fresh with a hodgepodge of different types. So I actually have zero idea what this is. I mean, could be Rainbow Road, could be literally almost anything. Uh, we do get to go first. Luckily, I do like this. And 
Okay, okay. I can definitely work with this. Um, because I can just Lele into a Karina, get a... Eh, what do I want to get? Lele into a Karina to be able to get probably like a Zygarde. And oh boy, this is a Passimian deck. Which means that it's going to have Mew. Ah, crap. Which means we're at the type disadvantage once again. All right. So for the third match in a row, we are going to be at the type disadvantage. But I have my fingers crossed. I I have faith that we are able that we are going to be able to overcome this. And it also means that Zygarde is going to be huge in this matchup. So let's go ahead and Karina grab a... Regular Lucario, actually, and do I want to grab an Ultra Ball or a Spirit Link? Um, what do I want to do this turn? So I'm obviously going to have to Karina next turn. Um, let's actually grab the Computer Search this turn. Or do I, what do I want to grab? No, Ultra Ball, Ultra Ball. Let's just grab the Ultra Ball. All right, there we go. So let's throw the Lucario down. Uh... Actually, you know what? Let's flow stone up the Lele. Ultra Ball, get rid of the Mega Turbo and the regular fighting. Grab the Shaman. Because, I mean, I have the Karina for next turn. Actually, you know what? I Ah, crap. I did that a little bit wrong, I think. Oh, I mean, I drawn to the Spirit Link. Never mind. I did it right. <laughs> I mean, that's that's what that's uh, what I'm saying, and I'm, I'm sticking with it. I'm sticking with that line of thought. I knew I was going to draw into a Spirit Link. So, I mean, I think I did that turn a little bit wrong i should have grabbed the spirit link with the karina and this is octillery what is this just like a bunch of dce attackers all in one deck because if so that's actually kind of cool um unfortunately my opponent does get a float stone onto his past simian which means that it will be able to retreat and oh boy we see the mu ex all right so this is going to be bad this is going to be very, very bad. Zygarde is 1,000% going to be necessary. Oh, even the Muscle Band. Uh, no, please don't get multiple past Simeon down. Please don't, like, play down a Shaman or something like that. Oh, boy. This could be bad if my opponent is able to get uh, another past Simeon down. Because I think that would actually be the knockout. Yeah. Because it'd do 70, 90. So if my opponent gets a single past Simeon extra down, I'm going to get knocked out immediately and yeah that's just gonna be a whole lot of bad there will be not a lot i can do especially because i've already played the shaman so i'd have to i've already used up my pokemon draw support um this is looking very bad but i mean at the same time my opponent doesn't have it yet so i can keep my fingers crossed and okay he does he doesn't have it luckily so we are able to live through this turn um actually i had to even draw the shaman so let's go ahead and mega lucario play the regular fighting onto it fighting stadium up and then i'll probably well let's play the shaman down for a couple more cards hopefully draw into a zygarde and a draw supporter um don't get that but i mean hey why was i asking for a draw support i have i mean why was i asking for a zygarde i have a karina that will allow me to grab my zygarde which will actually be very crucial in this matchup. Uh, let's see, Zygarde is able to come out. I have a Mega Turbo as well. So I'm going to be able to get a knockout on this Mew, which, to be honest, is about, is about as good of a trade as I could have hoped, hoped for with Mega Lucario. So able to take two prizes, and if I'm able to trade a Fighting Week or a Psychic Week for a Psychic EX, I'm, I'm good with that. I was able to live through that first turn. I consider that a win with mega lucario and hopefully zygarde will be able to come through and take the necessary knockouts when i need it unfortunately my opponent immediately has a revive please do not have a dce i would be very 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 sad if you had a revive and a dce in your hand that would allow you okay even worse he has an n oh boy so this is starting to look scarier and scarier because i will not be able to I won't be able to retaliate with a one-shot on this Mew. Plain and simple. Like, if my opponent gets a DCE onto the Mew from that six cards, he's going to be able to one-shot my... Uh, he's going to be able to one-shot my Lucario from this range. So, just, again, praying that my opponent does not have it. Uh, he does have an Ultra Ball, so he's probably going to be able to get something that'll be a 
draw supporter. The only supporter I've used, used so far is Karina. I really would have liked to have had a Sycamore or some form of draw support in there. Um, actually, you know what? I might I might use Chorus in this deck, but I just don't like Chorus because I always seem to draw into it turn one when I don't want it. We do see another Pessimian come down. My opponent retreats into Mew. Yep, he has the DCE. So very, very, very unfortunate right there. Uh, I have to... What can I do? I'm promoting the Lele just because that thing has free retreat and I can always just go into something. I need a good top deck. Does that work? Actually, you know what? This will work because I'm not going to bother trying to hit the Mew right now. I'm just going to go ahead and take a prize. Because the Mew is low enough, has low enough HP that I don't want to two-shot that thing. I mean, that Mew needs to be one-shot. So if I'm going to have to go for a weak attack, I'm just going to try to take out that Pikachu at the very least. Then I do draw a Mega Turbo. So what I can potentially do is Karina for a Mega Lucario and a Spirit Link. Then I can Mega Turbo and attach... Um, never mind, my opponent just ends me. So, fingers crossed that this N is a little bit better than my last one. And I was still able to take a knockout, so I'm okay with it. And okay, this N is a whole lot better than the last one. Because, I mean, hey, there's a Sycamore there. And if I can get a strong energy and a muscle band, or a strong energy and a fighting stadium, then I will be able to one-shot the Mew, which is really what I'm going for with Zygarde. Zygarde is going to be my way of winning this game regardless. I mean, Mega Lucario, it got an early KO. Mega Turbo was able to get me a good KO on the Mew. So uh, Mega Lucario, pour some out for one's homies. And Zygarde is going to probably be my method of being able to win this game. Uh, my opponent has... Okay, so he's actually going to attack with the Passimian. I actually would have gone with the Mew just because that thing sets me up to be knocked out later. Um, and what I can do... Let's go ahead and Sycamore. Because, yep, there we go. That's perfect. I get... Ooh, I need the Muscle Band. Let's Ultra Ball. Get rid of the N and the Lele. I don't like getting rid of the Lele, but, I mean, at the same time, it's... Might as well, just because, I mean, I can play my hand... I can play my hand down pretty well at this point. Let's go ahead and Scorched Earth, see what we can get. We get a Lysander. That's not... That's not what we want, but, I mean, we'll work with it. I mean, I can get, I, I can start getting another Mega Lucario powered up in the background if I hit enough, uh, if I hit enough Mega Turbos. But right here, I will be able to, unfortunately, have to two-shot the past Simeon. But at least I'm healing damage in the process of it. And then I can always just Lysander up the, this damage past Simeon next turn, reduce the damage my opponent's able to do, and go from there. So... Honestly, in a pretty decent position overall. My opponent is going to VS Seeker. What's he going to grab? He's going to grab a Kakui. Can he knock me out this turn? He needs... Be able to do 150. If he can get a last pass Simeon, his Mew will be able to knock me out. His Mew will be able to knock out my... Uh, my Zygarde and then... But he actually doesn't go for it. He just discards the Kakui. So my opponent needs a Muscle Band... And another Passimian, he is not going to be able to get a one-shot. He's not going to knock me out this turn. Um, because... Whoa. Did he not... Hmm. That's actually kind of confusing. I'm not sure why my opponent did that. I mean, at the very least, go for some damage on me. I mean, get some damage off on my Zygarde. So, can I do this? Um, actually, I think I can. Let's Lysander up the Mew. Yeah, I drew it, top deck the Muscle Band. So the Muscle Band top deck is absolutely gigantic. Because I'm gonna, not only going to be able to knock out this Mew, but I'll be able to heal up 30 damage, and I'm going to be able to one-shot whatever my opponent brings in next turn. And even, well, if I get an Energy, then even a Fighting Fury Belt won't even be able to save his past Simeon. So I think... I actually think I'm going to be able to win this game. So Zygarde is, unfortunately, the real MVP. I mean, Mega Lucario got to run town on my opponent's... Uh, or run train. Is it run train or... Run train and go to town. There we go. My opponent, my Mega Lucario got to run train on my uh, opponent's Mega... On my opponent's Mega Alakazam deck last match. I was trying to remember what it was. But here my opponent is just gonna... 
take a couple prizes, I guess. I mean, I win the game. He retreats into Raichu, knocks out my Shaman. But at this point, I mean, I can just... You know what? Let's see if we can... Let's see if we can do this. Uh, I mean, I could... Uh, unfortunately, I don't get the... Um, if I had gotten, like, an energy top deck, then I could have Karina'd for a Mega Turbo to be able to win the game. But, I mean, regardless, I'm just going to take the victory with Zygarde where I have it. And, yeah, Mega Lucario was still able to do something in this game, even though Zygarde was the real MVP. But, yeah, unfortunately, Mega Lucario just, its weakness holds it back so much because Psychic types are very, very common in the TCG. And being a fighting type isn't as good as it used to be. Yeah, it does help out against Lightning and Tauros, but the very common Lightning types right now are either Night March, which you better be one-shotting those things anyway. Weakness doesn't matter. And against Night March, Pumpkaboo one-shots you. Uh, Tapu Koko, which doesn't have any weakness. And Raikou, which that thing normally relies on getting one-shot anyway. So Mega Lucario isn't the greatest because of its typing and weakness, but it's still a very cool deck. And when it got a Spirit Link, I was like, yo, I gotta try this. And I'm very, very, very white, and I realized I cannot pull off the yo. Uh, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And this is Sticks signing out. Why not? See you guys.